Welcome to Pavitra Laptop Care. Today's topic is circuits. How do circuits works? Why does knowing a laptop expert matter? Depending on a categorization, a circuit is a flow of electrons from a negative terminal to a positive terminal with or without a load. Circuit kinds open circuit, closed circuit and short circuit. I will use videos to explain these terms for greater understanding. Here I have taken multimeter and a charger. This charger is 180 watt and contain 19.5 volts. See. This is the adapter point, so here we will get 19.5 volts. See it's not connected anywhere, we are getting 19.5 volts. See due to this open, so we called it's an open circuit because it's not connected anywhere. Now I will take the laptop. and I won't connect this adapter and I'll try to switch on the laptop is it on? will it on? no so let me connect the charger now so this is called open circuit now when I connect to the charger and switch it on then the result will be output see this display I will get so this is called closed circuit. So I will try to explain one by one in simple manner. See in circuit, open circuit, closed circuit and short circuit. Three kinds we can divide it. I'll put a diagram for open circuit. A bulb is connected through a resistor with a switch and it will be open condition. So this is called open circuit. In this the flow of electrons won't complete because of the switch. Always flow of electrons from negative terminal to positive terminal it will flow. Then only we called it as a closed circuit. Now in this situation bulb will be in off condition because the flow of electrons won't happen because of the switch. But we can get the voltage. Say I will draw one more circuit. The same bulb is connected through the resistor to the source and in this case the switch will be closed condition. Now we will get current and voltage both. See now the flow of electrons from negative terminal to the positive terminal the bulb will glow because it's it's acting as a load okay in any circuit load is must in closed circuit
in open circuit there is no completion of flow of electrons in the circuit because of the switch in closed circuit there will be a flow of electrons from negative terminal to the positive terminal in this condition switch will be closed in third condition we call it as a short circuit see here there will be no load means plus and minus terminals will joint it causes damage the circuit because the sudden flow of electrons will occur here so this is not recommendable So as per my knowledge I explained all the things it's a closed open and short circuit so if anything is there please send me in comment so as per my knowledge I will explain all the things In previous video I already showed why the closed circuits and open circuits and the short circuits are very important in laptop service. See in open condition we can't switch on the laptop because the flow of electrons won't be there. Here in a small diagram I want to show you the charger first is connected to the motherboard it acts as a load and it gives the output. Right. It's called complete loop. It's complete circuit. So this is called complete circuit. Here, the flow of electrons from negative terminal to positive terminal flows through the load to the laptop. So it gives the result, the output. Okay, that's it. This is very simple topic. Circuits. Here I have taken a motherboard. This is the DC jack. Okay. If we connect the adapter to the DC jack, red is positive terminal and black is negative terminal. See the flow of electrons flows through the motherboard and gives the output in display. See this is the display. Thank you.